Hello everyone! Welcome to another online math class. I am Sir Mark and I will be your guide throughout this lesson. For today's video, we will be discussing the fourth part of our lesson under Module 2, Week 2 of the third quarter, which is about theorems on kites. Before we start, let us first recall what kite is. Kite is a quadrilateral with no parallel sides, but it has two pairs of congruent and adjacent sides. Now, let's have theorem number one. If a quadrilateral is a kite, then its diagonals are perpendicular. So, ang sabi sa theorem na ito, na kung ang isang quadrilateral daw ay isang kite, then, yung mga diagonals nito ay perpendicular. So, ano ba ang ibig sabihin pag sinabing perpendicular? Sinabing perpendicular, nag-intersect yung mga diagonals na yon at naka-form ng right angle. Okay, so let's take a look at this kite. Kite M-A-R-K with diagonals A-K and M-R. At nag-intersect silang dalawa at point O. Ayan. So, since itong mga diagonals na ito ay perpendicular daw, ibig sabihin, nakaform yan ng right angle. At pwede na nating sabihin that segment AK is perpendicular to segment MR. Alright? At dahil sila ay perpendicular, sabi nga, nakaform sila ng right angle. Whereas, the measure of angle AOR is equal to 90 degrees. Okay? At hindi lang naman si angle AOR ang right angle dyan. So, yung remaining angles dyan ay puro right angles din. Doon sa mga angles na nabuo, noong nag-intersect yung dalawang diagonals. Okay? So, just like this one, si angle MOK. So, right angle din yan because of vertical angle theorem. So, kung si angle AOR ay right angle, si angle MOK din is a right angle. Dahil yan sa vertical angle theorem. So, congruent yung dalawa na yan. Okay? So, therefore, the measure of angle MOK is equal to 90 degrees. Now, how about angle ROK? So, si angle ROK then is also a right angle. Bakit? Kasi si angle ROK at si angle MOK form a linear pair. So, dahil pag linear pair, anong ibig sabihin nun? Dapat sila ay adjacent at supplementary. So, adjacent, magkatabi ang dalawa na yan. Si angle ROK at angle MOK. They form a linear pair. So, adjacent at supplementary. Ibig sabihin, the sum is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle ROK is also equal to 90 degrees. Alright? And then, by the virtue of the vertical angle theorem, then, Ibig sabihin, si angle AOM is also a right angle. Therefore, the measure of angle AOM is also 90 degrees. Alright? Theorem number 2. If a quadrilateral is a kite, then exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. So, ang sabi sa theorem na ito, Kung ang quadrilateral daw ay isang kite, ibig sabihin, meron siyang exactly one pair o isang pares ng opposite angles na congruent. Alright? So, let's take a look at this kite. Kite, M-A-R-K. So, nasaan kaya dyan yung isang pares ng opposite angles na congruent? So, eto yon Si angle M and angle R. So, dahil sila ay congruent, we could say that angle M is congruent to angle R. Ibig sabihin, equal ang measurement nila. Alright? So, to better understand this theorem, let's have an example. Quadrilateral RYAN is a kite. The measure of angle Y is equal to 3x plus 16. And the measure of angle N is equal to 115. Find the value of X. So here is our kite RYAN. So sabi sa problem, ang measure daw ni angle Y is equal to 3X plus 16. 
and the measure of angle N is equal to 115. So, ang goal natin sa problem na ito is to solve for the value of X. Okay? Now, kung titignan natin, yung given natin ay nakay angle Y at angle N. And ano ba ang relationship ni angle Y at ni angle N? They are opposite angles. Okay? So, opposite angles sila ng kahit natin. At itong dalawang, itong isang pares ng opposite angle na to, ito yung dalawang angle na congruent na sinasabi sa ating theorem. Alright? So, therefore, we could say that angle Y is congruent to angle N. At since sila ay congruent, ibig sabihin, their measures are equal. So, pwede na natin sabihin that the measure of angle Y is equal to the measure of angle N. Ayan. So, dahil stated na yung equality ng dalawang angle, pwede na natin isubstitute yung mga measurement nila na binigay sa problem. Alright? So, for the measure of angle Y, so, isasubstitute na natin yung measure niya, which is 3X plus 16, which is equal to the measure of angle N, which is equal to 115. Alright? Now, ano nang susunod na gagawin natin? So, ang kailangan na natin gawin is to transpose 16 to the other side. Pag nilipat na natin si 16, papuntang right side, magbabago ang sign niya. At siya ay magiging negative. So, the resulting linear equation would be 3x is equal to 115 minus 16. And what is 115 minus 16? The answer is, very good, it's 99. So, therefore, we could have 3x is equal to 99. Alright? Now, to solve for the value of x, ano na ang gagawin? Tama. We have to divide both sides by 3. Para makancel na natin yung 3 dito sa left side. Ang matitira na lang ay si x. Which is equal to 99 divided by 3. The answer is, okay, it's 33. So, that is the value of x na hinahanap natin. Alright, so ngayon, check natin kung totoong congruent nga yung dalawang angle na yan. Kung si angle N ay 115, dapat si angle Y 115 din. So, check natin. Substitute natin yung value ni X dun sa measurement ni Y, which is 3X plus 16. So, palitan natin si X. So, that would be 3 times 33 plus 16. And we know that 3 times 33 is equal to 99. And 99 plus 16 is equal to 115. So, tama nga na congruent yung opposite angles na yun. Okay? Theorem number 3. The area of a kite is half the product of the length of its diagonal. So, ang sinasabi lang ng theorem na ito, na para daw masolve natin ang area ng kite, all we have to do is to get the product of the length of its diagonals. So, pag sinabi nating product, multiply daw natin yung mga measures ng ating diagonals. So, pag na-multiply na natin, i-divide lang natin sa 2. And that is the area of a kite. So, let's take a look at this kite. Kite, M-A-R-K, with diagonals A-K and M-R. So, to solve for the area of a kite, ito lang ang formula na susundin natin. So, the area of a kite, M-A-R-K, is equal to 1 half times the measure of diagonal A-K times the measure of the diagonal M-R. Alright? So, para mas maunawaan natin kung ano yung sinasabi talaga ng theorem na ito, let's have some examples. Number 1. Given that the measure of diagonal YN is equal to 8 yards. And the measure of diagonal RA is equal to 12 yards. Find the area of the kite. So here is our kite. Kite RYAN with diagonals YN and RA. So according to the given, the measure of diagonal YN is equal to 8 yards. And then the measure of diagonal RA is equal to 12 yards. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is the area of kite RYAN. So, paano natin gagawin yon? How are we going to solve for the area of kite RYAN? So, ang kailangan lang natin gawin is to follow the formula. Okay, so ano ba yung magiging formula natin? Base sa ating kite. So, that would be, okay, very good. So, area of kite RYAN is equal to 1 half 
times the measure of diagonal RA times the measure of diagonal YN. Now, the question is, pwede mo magkapalit yung measure ni RA at measure ni diagonal YN? Pwede. Bakit? Kasi multiplication naman yan. And we know that multiplication is commutative. Ibig sabihin, magkapalit man ng position, yung dalawa na yan, hindi magbabago yung product natin. Alright? Now, dahil meron na tayong formula, pwede na tayong mag-substitute. Okay, so since we're looking for the area of this kite, so ang kailangan lang natin i-substitute ay yung measures ng ating diagonals. So we have 1 half times the quantity, the measure of diagonal RA, which is 12 yards, times the measure of diagonal YN, which is 8 yards. Then, pwede na natin i-simplify yan. So, pwede na natin i-multiply si 12 and 8. And we know that 12 times 8 is equal to, very good, it's 96. Kaya tayo ay magkakaroon ng 1 half times 96. And what is 1 half of 96? Or what is 1 half times 96? That is, very good, that is 48. Therefore, the area of kite RYAN is equal to 48 yards squared. So, tatandaan na, huwag kakalimutan yung squared kasi we are looking for the area. So, dahil area yan, dapat ang sagot ay square unit. Okay, so this is our answer. Alright? Number two. Given the area of a kite is equal to 35 inches squared and the measure of diagonal RA is equal to 10 inches. So, we are asked to find the measure of diagonal YN. So, ito yung ating kite. Kite RYAN with diagonals YN and RA. Kaya lang, ang given lang natin dito ay yung diagonal RA na ang measure ay 10 inches. Tapos, yung area ng kite na to, ng kite RYAN is equal to 35 square inches. Ngayon, ang pinapahanap sa atin is the measure of diagonal YN. So, paano natin gagawin yon? So, ganun lang din. So, hindi lang din natin ang formula. So, for this, the formula is area of kite RYAN is equal to 1 half times the measure of diagonal RA times the measure of diagonal YN. Alright? So, ngayon, papalitan na natin. substitute na tayo. So, ang given dito, binigay sa atin yung measure ni er yung area, which is 35 inches squared. So, palitan natin yan. So, that would be 35 is equal to 1 half times the measure of diagonal RA, which is 10 inches, times the measure of diagonal YN. So, siya yung inahanap natin. Kaya, retain lang siya. Alright? Now, in this case, pwede natin simplify yung nasa right side, yung 1 half times 10. Kasi alam naman natin na 1 half times 10 is equal to what? That is 5 times yn, that is 5yn. Kaya the resulting equation would be 35 is equal to 5yn. Alright? And then, to solve for the measure of diagonal yn, we can now divide both sides by 5. Very good. Kaya pwede na natin i-cancel yung 5 sa right side ng ating equation. Ang matitira na lang dyan ay si yn. Kaya pwede natin i-simplify yung nasa left side. So 35 divided by 5, that is very good. That is 7. So ibig sabihin, the measure of diagonal yn is equal to 7 inches. So yan ang hinahanap natin. Alright, so... Yung measure ni diagonal yn is 7 inches. Alright? Alright, so that's our discussion regarding theorems on kite. So actually, marami pang mga theorems ang kite. Pero ang sinama ko lang sa video na ito ay yung kailangan natin for our module number 2. Alright? So if ever na mayroon pa kayong questions on this lesson, do not hesitate to comment your questions below or mag-send ng private message sa aking Facebook account. Until the next video, bye-bye!